show you quickly how to um, how to hook up your LED lights to your tool battery which I have is a DeWalt 20 volt it's uh, fully charged right now and uh, I'll show you how to find which power which which is positive which is negative it actually shows on the battery but it's always good to test again so you see that's your um, B as a battery positive and B negative and I just marked it myself so I know which one's positive which one's negative here um, but you can do your own testing you're not gonna screw up anything so I just use these two little jumper leads that I got um, and it works just fine just make sure you don't short them out because you'll end up sparking the battery so I'm just gonna plug these in here it's just to get a connection so you can test this right alright well, maybe this way so there we go because all the LED strips are either 24 volts or 12 volts so I cannot hook up directly to my tool battery so I have to step it down so first I was thinking to put some resistors maybe and then I started googling maybe a small step down transformer and what they have I'll show you in a second an amazing tool that I came across maybe you guys knew already but I didn't so that helped me a lot so as you see this battery was fully charged now I have 20.7 volts DC so we don't know my meter was set to DC volts right here and I just turn it off for now so okay so we tested our battery we know which one is positive which one is negative it will normally show on your meter too when you have a reverse polarity it will show you that is a minus 20 so you just swap the leads over and then you know which one is positive which negative so now I'm going to show you what I came across and it was my lifesaver <laughs> so I had a storage where it was really dark and I never have a power there and at night it's just pitch dark so I have five or four of the old batteries which I can spare in one of the storage and uh, I can use them and I was thinking how to put some lights in there so at least I can see and never don't have to bring a flashlight all the time with me so I came across this little guy um, I picked up this from Amazon it was only 10 bucks and they have different amperage so this one I think when I got it was from it goes from uh, 16 volts to 20 volts or 24 volts if I'm not mistaken but uh, there's are many different types of these guys so you can see which one is more applicable to your needs I guess so this was really easy to hook up I just made something temporary so I can just show you guys how this quickly works so this is the income which goes right into the battery it sits right into the terminals and this is the output here which is uh, also controllable you can adjust the voltage and these will be the outputs that go to the LED strip so let's try hook this up and I'll show you what I mean so this will be like this so as you see now is at 12 volts and I guess all the electronic components and everything is drawing 0 0.006 of an amp so now let's increase this to let's say uh, let's say 12.5 and we'll see we'll see how much is drawing on two feet strip and then we'll test the five the five uh, meter strip so that's 16 feet I think so this is a positive this is a negative it's just a couple crocodile clips I hooked up onto the strip and we'll see if it works just make sure you don't 
short this out and there you go so right now it's drawing 0 0.5 of an amp which is quite a lot depending on a two feet strip um, and that to have the same amount of battery and the battery life how long I can have these LEDs running for it probably be the same that I can run a 5 meter strip which is 16 feet so definitely a 16 feet even if those lights are not as bright as this but definitely I will have more light coverage throughout the storage room so let's see how much is the 5 meter strip drawing right now you can also do this with any type of tool battery if you have if you have Milwaukee, Makita or any other brand Ryobi or anything like that as long as you can find the right terminals you can hook up your DC stabilizer and you can adjust the voltage whatever you need so let's try the 5 meter LED strip and we'll see how much is that one drying so as you see this is only 0 0.75 which is an increase of uh, 25, 25, 0 0.25 an amp so it's a little bit more but the amount of light I will be getting it's it's way beyond my two feet strip so that's it I hope this helps to you guys and all these little parts for my test and my little need leads I picked up from Amazon I think I paid for these crocodile clips was like six bucks and um, this uh, DC stabilizer was I don't know ten twelve dollars something like that so this one is good up to two amps so my LED strip is only putting 0 0.75 it's not even an amp so this is more than I need they have a more powerful ones if you guys want you can check them on the Amazon or some online stores they think they have up to five amp or even more um, but this is suits my needs better than anything else and I'm pretty happy with this so thank you guys for watching